Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Word 500. So I'm going to start with count, if it'll let me. Start with count, uh, because it gives the count of the colors instead of where they are. All right, I'm thinking about, yeah, I think I should do the left word and, and place that NT somewhere else. Um, I thought of Tyner. <laughs> it's not a word, though. Uh, tuner wouldn't work. Hmm. I'm trying to think about maybe TR. Ooh, train actually is really good. I like that. Okay. So we got TR on the right. It's probably, oh, it actually has to be trout because it's either trout or true, truat, which isn't a word. So we can just be confident with trout. Very nice. Um, that TR still isn't first on the left. <laughs> so what are we doing here? We're, we end with N. So I'm thinking stern. Huh. We have a stern trout. That was a very good solve, too. I got a lot of information from Count, which was lucky. But yeah, also Stern and Trout just use very, very common letters, so not too surprised. It was actually kind of lucky that I went with Train here because that placed both T's. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, cool. All right, let's play Fibble. Each guess has exactly one lie in it. So maybe the U is lying and should have been gray or yellow, or maybe the E is lying and should have been gray or green. Or one of these grays could be lying as yellow or gray or yellow or green. Um, let's see. I'm thinking about guessing equal because that means the U is correct, the E is correct, and then this A should have been yellow. Um, and hopefully we'll fish out some lies that way. We managed to not fish out any lies. <laughs> so I'm thinking about using the A again if I can. The problem is the placement of this E is, is quite awkward. Um, like how, the E has to go next to the U. It's either going to be there or there. And I'm honestly not sure, like unless there's like an ER word I could do, I'm not sure how that works. And if I don't bring in the A, then I have to bring in two different grays. So I'm actually thinking about ignoring the U and just assuming that U lied the same way twice and should have been gray. Uh, and then that way we just have to use an E. Let's, let's try an ER word like... Hmm. How about diner? That's fun. Well, now the E is gray. And unfortunately, with diner, I didn't have anything else uh, equivalent up here. So even though we know there's a lie between these E's and a lie between these E's, we can't glean anything from that. So I'm going to assume we're still in ER word and I just didn't pick the right starter. Um, can't be toner. Toner would have been a good guess too. How about mover? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so here's what we learned here. There's a lie between these R's, and there's a lie between these E's. Between diner and mover, there are only two lies. One in diner, one in mover. And one of them's here, one of them's here, which means we don't get more lies. None of these are... I call this an X-wing, which just comes from a Sudoku technique. But you can kind of draw an X between these, because the lie is either going to be like that, or it's going to be like that, forming kind of an X in your mind. Um, so we know there's no D-I-N-M-O-V. Uh, we also, because we know the lie... the the lie is like this. If the lie was like this, that means there's no E in the word, but there um, is an R, just not last. Or if we're like this, then there's an R at the end and there's an E somewhere, just not here. I think that's the situation we're going to try first. We're going to try ending an R and then use the E elsewhere. But I'm actually starting to think it might be this, and we just got the E's lying both times. And so there's no E, and we just have to use an R with all new letters. Uh, with a U in the middle. Actually, I kind of like that because we could do like RU like this, like grunt, but there's no N, but so I'm sure there's something. Um, not crust. Cruft is a word. We could try that. All right, the U is doubling down as green here, so I think that might actually be true at this point. Um, so maybe maybe this is, this is what happened. We just had the E's lying on us this whole time. Um, and this is true. And then, what's our lie here? I'm going to consider the possibility that the R is lying, and that means we need to move the U at the uh, the C to the end. Maybe like truck, but we can't do truck because there's no T in this situation. Um, I don't think there's another word that does this, though. Okay, so... 
what are we doing? Like, you are... I don't know where this C goes. Kind of a problem. So I'm thinking of omitting it, in which case I have to get all new letters. This is getting tough. Uh, maybe U R Y. Hmm. U R K. I don't like K. Maybe something like blurb, but there's no L, so I don't think we can really modify that. Um. If I did R U, I'd need the C elsewhere. Maybe U R U C Y. R U C H. I feel like I've made some wrong assumption here, but I don't know what it is. Um, let's go back to what we know to be 100% true. This is 100% true for sure. Um, do we have any other lies I can lean on here? I mean, these E's disagree. If this, I don't know, one of these E's could still be lying. I was going to say, if, the, if, if these E's aren't lying, we need something else to be lying here. This is getting complicated. I haven't really fished out the lies very well on this one. My guess is some, some, just some of it's just getting unlucky, and some of it's just not. Like diner wasn't a great guess to fish out lies, unfortunately. I may, probably should have thought of something else, but I couldn't think about how to put the e next to the u. But maybe I could have made one of the e's lying. I don't know. Um, probably could have done that. So, like, what if what if this e was lying, but it's supposed to be green at the end? Because I I like u r e a lot. So that would mean this E is lying. Oh, but then that, okay, so we can't actually do that, because if this E is lying as green, then this E is lying as yellow, which would make the R at the end. So we would actually need this E to be lying. We'd start with, we'd start with E. We'd have the U, right? If this E was lying and should have been green, this E would be true, this E would be true, this E would be lying, this R would be true. So we'd end with R. This is looking terrible. This would be our lie. This would be true. This isn't a word though. Let's let's not even let's not even consider that. So if either of these E's is lying, we have proved that they're gray. Which means if they're true, this is lying, there's an R at the end of the word. And we're we're basically at this point forced to either have the U be lying all three times, which would be kind of a crazy thing to happen, but it's possible. Or we would need to put an E next to a U, which also maybe 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 there's like a U E R word. It seems unlikely, but I actually can't end in ER because we can't make both of those lie, though. So I'd have to do EU something R. And then I'd have to bring in a, a letter from pause and a letter from equal. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. So in this case, we'd want these U's to be lying all the way down, which is kind of crazy. This would be the lie, too. So I'd need to put like the E in the middle-ish. And I'd still need an R at the end. And I'd have to use the C somewhere. Certainly not ending in ECR, so this would it would be like this. Or, or maybe EC something R. Could it be recur? Oh my gosh. If it's recur, do you see how real re do you see how crazy that is? Oh my gosh. The U's were all lying, and they should have been yellow. <laughs> This game astonishes me, astonishes me sometimes. It's supposedly random, but like, really? The same slot lying in the same way three times? In the three times I decided to use it that way? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, the, the, I got the lies exactly right. That's nuts. Okay. And then the doubling, doubling the R did not help. <laughs> wow, I got it though. That was a good solve. I enjoyed that. How'd you do? Let's play between all. I'll start with mouse and I'll explain what's going on. So this orange dot is telling us how close to all A's we are compared to mouse. And when we say close, we mean alphabetically for the whole word. So, you know, when you alphabetize words, right, you, you start with the first letter, then you do the second letter, then the third letter, et cetera, right? So we're, I'm going to start by just trying to fish out what my starting letter is. And it's, it's between A and M and it's 15 15% away from A and 40% away from M. But we're talking about percentage of words. So you have to consider the distribution of words. So I think 50% might start with C. Um, let's do an early C, like camel. 
All right, so we are at 1.5% after C. That could still be C if we're a late C, like human or something. Yep, so we do start with C, and actually U is way too far away. So closer to A than U. So now we're just trying to figure out the second letter. Um, it's like we can't figure out the last letter right now, right? Because it's, it's alphabetizing them as words. It's not like we're between L and N. It's not like we have to have an M in the middle here. Um, so really, we, all we can do is try to figure out the second letter at this point. Um, I'm trying to think what we might want to do. Like, is CR feels way too close to CU. Uh, CH maybe could be a good, good idea. Maybe something like chime, just because it's the first thing I thought of. All right, so I think we are CH, and I think we're something like champ then. Okay, we're like halfway between champ and chime, so maybe chess. All right, very close to chess. We're, we're a little bit under eight words away from chess, maybe like six or seven words away from chess. That 0.01% is about one word, but it's actually a little bit less than a word, I think. Yeah, I think like 0.012 is a word or something like that. I don't know exact number. Um, so I think we're C-H-E, and I think we're... Um, I mean, I can think of cheap, right? Like what, what birds say? Little birds? Bir birdlings? What are they called? <laughs> Little baby birds, they say cheap. Um, um, chief, maybe. Well, no, chief is I-E. That doesn't work. Um, darn. I'm going to do cheer, and I'm assuming that that's going to go up. Oh, and cheer went down. Ooh, so we might be double E. I think cheap is right before cheer, so that's not 0.03. Uh, cheek could be the answer. Let's try it. Nope. Okay, so now, now one word before cheek. So is there another one? Che I mean, we could try them. What seems reasonable? Chief? <laughs> uh, chi! Cheed. Okay, I, th I, think, I think we gotta go before the E. It's like... Is there a C-H-E-D word? That doesn't seem good. C check, then. I think it's check. Wow. Yeah. Those last letters can be hard to fish out just because... <laughs> you, you gotta kinda think about the words. It, like, you gotta kinda go backwards through the words. Alright, cool. Check. Got it in nine guesses. How'd you do? Let's do word 500. I'm going to start with stare and then explain what's going on here. All right. So normally Wordle would, would color the letters themselves, green and yellow, like maybe like that, right? Um, but instead, word 500 is kind of mastermind style. So it just gives you a count. So one of our letters is, is correct and in the right spot. And one of our letters is correct, but in the wrong spot. I'm going to assume it's the A and the E, the vowels here. Words love ending in E. So let's see if we can come up with like an A something something E word. In fact, we can do underscores so it doesn't turn red on us. Um, I mean, I thought of A-S-T-E, but we already tried S and T, so we can't do that. Um, kind of having a hard time thinking of a word. Is there like an A-N-G-E word? Range, but there's no R. What else can we do? I mean, we could pick something else. Something else we could do is have the A in place. We could use the R or the E. Maybe we could do like an E-A word. I think that's reasonable. So, again, I want to end in S-T. That's funny. Uh, I'm sure there's other options, though. Um, how about meanie? That's a fun word. One green, one yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume I got the green right, and I'm going to assume there's no E in the word now. So that means I need to bring... Oh yeah, and then these would all be red. So one green, no yellows. I need to bring in one of these letters. I'm going to put R second. I'm going to do an R-A word. Um, okay, so how, what am I doing with that? How about crawl? Three greens and crawl. So I think I got this right and this right, and then I got something else right. We could try another C-R-A word, if there is one. 
Um, oh, and by the way, if your word was different, <laughs> I should have said this at the start, I'm playing the uh, angry face advanced mode. Uh, there's actually three dailies every day. There's the green happy face standard, the yellow kind of anxious face standard plus, and the red angry face advanced. Um, I always play the advanced one because uh, it has no limitations on what the answer can be. Um, CRA is not looking very good, is it? So let's look at RA, maybe RALL could be good. If that if there was a word. <laughs> How about RAW something? You'd kind of want to end with L in that case. Um yeah, you really want to end with L with that. So what what is our what is our letter here? Maybe AIL? Ooh, I like that. But trail is gone. Grail. We found the holy grail? Ooh. I think we are R A I L then, a frail then. Nice, got it. Maybe maybe the Holy Grail's at the next castle. All right, cool. Mostly greens. That's pretty funny. Um, Nini, I made the assumption about the E. It was incorrect, but then from there, I made the assumption about the R A, and I was right the whole time. So cool. Made some good assumptions today. Got it fished out in five guesses. How'd you do? All right, let's play polygonal. Today we have an eight-letter word. The, the symbols on top tell us what repeats. So this orange square repeats here and here. This repeats here and here. Um, and there are no other repeats. If I tried ing here, this would be ni. I'm not going to immediately throw that out. I almost feel like there's not enough space in between this ni. Like we could do nesting maybe, but like what what are we putting here? I was thinking about a like anim like animation, right? But obviously not animation, but anim animating. But we don't have enough letters for that. Also, the a doesn't repeat. <laughs> and then I, I just can't think of a word. To, I can't think of how a, a word that has two letters here. So. I mean, GN is, is not possible because we can't repeat the G. KN, like knitting, would work, except this T doesn't repeat, right? So there, I don't think there's another word like that that we can just do. Um, we can't do in because the I is used. We could do on, but on ne. Yeah, okay. I don't like ING anymore. Um, what if we did like ERS? Um, like. Maybe an ST, S resters. Um, there's got to be something. <coughs> got to be something. PR. Maybe maybe TR. Tre trenders. That's got to be a word, right? That was trenders, not a word. It is, yeah, I can't, we can't do treasures. Um, I don't think that would be a word anyway. Treaders? Okay, that's a word. Okay, I'm I'm all gray. I was on the wrong track. <laughs> ING still available. Um, oof, this is gonna be hard with all those grays. What's another like suffix I can pull out? Um, or a prefix maybe? I could put an L here. What will we end with? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Um, what else repeats? This letter would be a vowel. We're down to the O, I, and U. Like, ending in old? No, there's not even D. Um, I'm really not liking this. This could be a vowel. Seems difficult. I might have to do a filler here just because I can't think of any words. I don't know how this works anymore. Um, we ended like CK somehow. I'm trying to think how this would work, like ick or ock. And maybe maybe O works better. What goes here though? Before a C, we don't have an S. It'd be an I or U. It doesn't work. 
um, n is available. Like if we wanted to do like an unword, honestly, ing is still available. Unifying. Oh my gosh, I got it. <laughs> I should have I should have spent more time on the ing. Wow. Okay, I'll take it. How many words were there? Twenty six. Creamery is fun. So what, what were the suffixes that were like popular? ING had just unifying as a common word that I know. LY ending, ED ending. That's fun. Unifying was the only UN <laughs> prefix. All right, cool. I, I'm surprised. I got that in two in Hexpert. Very nice. Didn't give up. That's the mini. Uh, stash. Okay, maybe the A goes here. Um, what are we doing? Like, I don't know what we're doing. Um, like, what are EA? Like, e eager, eager. Whoa, that was it. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of options too. I got lucky. Cool, 336 words. Well, how'd you do on these? Let's do symbol. I'll start with blaze. All right, I'm going to assume there's an E at the end, and we start with like an L maybe. Like large, but there's no A. Um, lunge then. All right, what did we learn? We learned that we probably end in E, although we could end in L. And then we don't start with L, so we probably start with A. A, E. Oof, and then this NG, we got to like rearrange that. Uh, we can't use the L. So it could be like G-U-E or U-G-E or U-N-E, a tune. Ah, oh, that has two T's, huh? That seemed like the best choice at this point. Um, like, I guess it's not a word. The other option is we end in L, and it's it would be B something N-G-L. Yeah, no. That's not an option. All right, so we start with A or Z. I'm still going to start with A. <laughs> and then we have like between U and G, we got to pick two of them in a different order. And we got to end in E. Uh, N U E. U N E. U. We can't do U G E, actually. We could do G U E. Argue. Argue in three, I think is pretty good. You might well argue with me, but <laughs> All right. another cough drop. I go through so many cough drops recording these. And then attempt not to cough. Lots of talking. All right, let's do fusel. So in this first twist, we just don't get info about this tile here. Um, I'm going to start with argue. All right, we start with A. We don't know if R is second or not. We don't know if it's in the word at all because we didn't get info about it. But we know G, U, E aren't in the word. Um, maybe I should try an AR word just to check. But So this twist, though, we're not going to get any yellows. We're only going to get greens. So only if the letter's in the right spot are we going to get any info about it. Um, that's kind of a waste. Uh, what should I do? Hmm. It's kind of a wasted guess, no matter what, because this twist basically gives you nothing, unless you're super lucky. Um, I'm going to guess artsy, because if a Y is at the end, it, it'll be green. Okay, so we can assume there's no Y in the word. Okay, this is the best one, because uh, it forces you to do a filler where it's anything except a real word. The reason it has to be a filler is because the answer is a real word, so we have to guess something. So what, what do we want to know about? I kind of still want to know if there's an R in the word. I kind of want to know if there's a TS in the word. <laughs> um, maybe just the OI then, to see what vowel. Eh, we'll get the vowels. We need consonants. The L and the N. All right. Ritzlin. Perfect word. All right. There is no R this whole time. It might be AL then. Um, what are what are we? What word are we making here? Like alone, but not. Um, I mean, the L could really be anywhere, but I don't know what we're doing here. Could be A-L-L, -L. sort of word I guess that does that. 
I mean alloy, but we, we know that it doesn't end in Y, so um my elbow. <laughs> uh darn. Um we could we could end in L. Like Anvil, but there's no N. I like it otherwise. So this twist, we're actually gonna get alphabetical hints. Um, per slot, it'll tell us if we're alphabetically close to that letter. So I'd love to like spam L. And there's no point in doing anything but A at the start unless we just want a really good filler. Um, just to get the letters we're trying to get. Maybe like another A? I don't like guessing A on this twist though because it doesn't, it only tells you if you're near B or C. What about alpha though? I think alpha is a, a reasonable possibility. Yeah, okay, it was just alpha. <laughs> nice. I feel like I was I, I was really restricted after re removing the RTSN. And we know we started with A. Cool. May have gotten lucky, but that was a good solve. I like that. All right, let's play Don't Wordle. Um, it's thinking of a secret word. We're trying to avoid guessing the secret word. So I'm going to start with kayak. All gray, perfect. So we will file with Xylil when Zayak is all gray. Still all gray. So now we do Cucko. All right, there's an O. So now we have to get creative. we got to move that O around. We're only allowed to guess one O because we already guessed the double O and it wasn't. Both of them weren't colored, which means there's only one O in the word. And we are forced to try to always go for a possible answer. Um, like drove is possible. We could guess that. Um, I'm trying to think of one that would... One, probably not be an answer, and two, use some uncommon letters. Um, what can I do? I'm trying to repeat letters here. Um, I might have to settle for something a little bit more common, but oof. I'm try trying to think where to put the O that it would be useful here. Okay, I gotta guess something. I am really thinking about guessing an R R O word in the hopes that it is an R O word, so I can keep guessing R O words. Um, it's something like I don't know, bross a word. I don't really want to use up the S, but so unfortunately the L is that is gone because I could do an L O word too. I'm thinking about prong. It doesn't repeat any letters, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't see how we would. Something like groan, get the W out of the way. All right, I'm going to do groan and yikes. Okay, the G and the O is correct. And okay, so the answer is almost certainly ghost. Claims that there's two other words, but like what, what else could we possibly do here um, other than G-H-O? Maybe G-I-O or something or G-O, like G-O, G-O-M-S or something. Like it's going to be really hard to fish out the other two words if they're uncommon words that we don't know. Um, so, okay, I'm going to undo this and we're going to avoid ghost. It's going to be hard. Uh, I might end up undoing Coco and just, you know, I think I will. I think I'm going to make it easy on myself. <laughs> we're going to do PP. Actually, uh, Sasa, we know the answer, but Sasa would get the S. That's no good. There's PP, there's Sasa, there's, um, Something like civic, but let's do PP because we know there's no E in in um there's no E in um ghost. Um, I'd like to do uh, civic is perfect because there's no V or C in ghost. Um, 
Okay, the U. What are we doing with the U? Um, maybe something like boo boo. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a good U word other than sus us. If I did sus us, um, it wouldn't even place the S, but we'd have to use an S in the next guess. But I don't think that's terrible. So let's just do that. All right. Um, we got to use an S, probably in the right place. We could even end in ST. We we haven't tried the double O yet, and we know it's not double O, so we could just go with boost and and be done with it. And we had Ghost and Frost left. Nice. All right, well, those are the games for today. Hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.